Okay, one more week to go. <laughs> um, it is one week before ordination, and I gotta tell you, the excitement is building and building as I receive phone calls and emails and uh, just personal greetings from family, friends, and brother Jesuits telling me that they're praying for me and are excited for me, and their excitement is building my excitement uh, for what's gonna happen in a week from now. Um, the start of my journey as an ordained priest. Um, this path has been, uh, as you've seen in the past two months, kind of up and down like a roller coaster, but I gotta tell you, Ever since the retreat, um, things have sort of, it's like the, the plane is starting to land uh, and there's that anticipation of, wow, we're going to hit solid ground in just a second. Um, you know, I'm here now outside of uh, Sacramento, California in a place called Applegate, California, where uh, we in California province have a place where we kind of come out to retreat, to relax and to reconnect with one another uh, every year. Um, I'm here at the, what's called Formation Villa. It's a time for guys in formation, guys who haven't been ordained yet, to come together, reconnect, catch up, tell stories, and you know, um, and meet new friends. There are a couple of novices here that, uh, that uh, um, uh, I'd like to get to know better and sort of build community with. And that's what this is all about. It's building community with the men that you are going it's going to be your support uh, and um, you know your, your companions along the journey uh, not only towards priesthood but beyond uh, ordination as well so uh, I'm, I love coming here I've been coming here for 10 years and this is my last formation villa and I'm kind of sad about it but I'm very grateful uh, mostly very grateful for this time to be with them to catch up with them and again, to meet some new friends. And it's the first time that we've got some Oregonian guys here too, some guys from the Oregon province. And so it's nice to sort of vacation with them and get to know them as well. Um, but, you know, I gotta tell you, you know, it, it's also this, the graces of the retreat have just been continuing to sh uh, pour on me. God is just continuing to gift me, you know, with the grace, which is, I think, you know, Jesus telling me, remain in my love. Remain in my love, remain in my love, remain in my love. What better message to have a week before ordination? Um, it, it provides me with, so, uh, with strength, with courage, with uh, peace, with um, just readiness and excitement for ordination, which is about to, to happen in a, in a week from now. Um, so I'm very, very grateful to the Lord for, for that grace, and that's, that's been sustaining me, along with the prayers of other people. Prayers that I swear to you, I feel. Um, I've heard people say that before, you know, but I've never experienced it, except, but, but I, am, I am now. Um, really experiencing people's prayers. Um, and it's, it's visceral, it's strong, and I'm very grateful for them, because without it, why bother, <laughs> you know? Um, so that's where I'm at. Uh, it's an exciting time, and I'm very grateful to all of you for watching, um, and remind you to watch the live stream uh, on Saturday, June 11th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on www.jesuit.org forward slash P2P. I think the, the uh, address is right here right now. So uh, with that, looking forward to, to, to seeing you in the next time. I'll probably do one more blog from Spokane. Um, and then after that, it's ordination time. So until then, peace.